With a yearly turnover in the region of billions of shillings and an empire that encompasses three companies, a house that is nowhere near ordinary in the city, Narendra Raval Guru seems to be living the life. But all this did not come on a silver platter. Guru was destined for priesthood, having been born in a caste. He holds a doctorate in divinity and is an astrologer. It was while practicing religion in Kisumu that he engaged himself in steel manufacturing. I thought, let me start something to do with a shop. Small shop I opened in Gikomba. Where, why I've chosen Gikomba? Because the cheapest rent you can get is Gikomba. That time the rental was 5,000 shillings. And it was 2,500 square feet. Only Asian person was there is me. His experiences here in Gikomba market where his shop once stood earned him enough from his struggles to survive with his newlywed wife after they wed in Thika in 1986. They worked together at the shop in retailing, trying to make ends meet. He was soon to discover the need to impart change around him. I saw people are suffering Sleeping in Gikomba outside my shop, when I come in the morning, you find the people in the morning at 6 o'clock, they are just walking, waking up, because there is nowhere to stay. I thought, let me try and do something to do with the housing, so that I can sell a better price to the Wanaichi, so that they can build a small house for them. So I started looking for the ideas, then I thought, let me put a steel rolling mill, small one. So I can produce steel and give it to the Vanaichi with a much reasonable price. That time there was only one or two rolling mills, so it was a monopoly. It was support from the community which he says was informed by the fact that he was a priest that boosted him and his wife into expanding the small business. Coupled with 10,000 shillings in profits each month from his Gikomba shop, he was able to acquire land in Athi River in 1986 and Devki Steel Mills was born. Me and my wife used to sleep there. We made a small room and start building in the morning, bring the uh, Makono, so we build the walls and we grew a little bit difficult time, but first two, three months when we started the factory, it was difficult for me to pay the salary. My people never left me. They says, Guru, no problem, as far as we are getting the money for the food, rest you will pay us when you can. Today is 25, 30 years, still they are working with me and I'm proud of them. His big break, he says, came when he started out in the industry and got support from customers across the country. He chose a different approach that earned him immense profits, catapulting him to the top to make Devki Group of Companies the largest building material manufacturers in East Africa in 2000. From a turnover of 100 million Kenya shillings in 1986, to now, billions. We built at that factory, we started the production, we put it in the market, we reduced price at the first shot by 20%. It made a lot of change. Whatever I was producing, not a single piece was staying in the factory. That's how we started the first factory. Now we have, uh, at that time we have 70 people, now we have in the group 4,000 people working in my group. You don't have to be graduate to make end meets of your life. You don't have to be, uh, to be a, a master to do the business. You don't have to be an accountant to run an industry. Or you don't have to be an engineer to run an industry. I am not a qualified engineer, I am an engineer. I have studied that, but I know I am qualified. But I am running the industry, engineers are working for me. We studied, and if they are looking for the job, they are not getting job for six months. They should not sit and look for the job every now and then. Even a small kiosk they open. When I opened, it was a small kiosk, actually. I, my, my total sale of month was 10,000 shillings, and which was wonderful. 10,000 shillings in a month, it was extremely good for me, because out of that, I was making 2,000 shillings net profit. And when he's not busy personally attending to the affairs of the three widely separated factories in Athi River and Ruiru, he spends a time with his family. As he jokingly tells us, he prefers that ten times over what people deem as fun in nightclubs or other social places.